In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make circle graphs of sets of data. So the very first step when you want to make a circle graph is to find the percent for each category. So I'm going to make a little column here for the percent. And to find the percent for each category, what we need to do first is find the total number in the data set. So we're going to add up these numbers right here. 15 plus 30 plus 15. And when you do that, you get 60. Once you have your total, what you can do then is you can take each of these numbers here and divide them by the total. So I'm going to do 15 divided by 60. And when I do that, I get 0.25, which is 25%. So then I'm going to do that for the next one. 30 divided by 60 gives me 0.5, which if I move the decimal two places, is 50%. And then finally, if I do the last category, 15 divided by 60 again is going to be 0.25. If I move the decimal two places, that's going to give me 25%. So now I have my percents for each category. After you find your percent for each category, what you want to do is actually calculate your central angle. So I'm going to make a column now for central angle. Okay. So to calculate the central angle, what we're going to do is we're going to do the percentage of um, 360 because in a circle, in a circle, there are 360 total degrees. Okay, so to find the central angle, I want to know how many of those degrees should be allocated to each category. And so, like for example, yellow roses, 25% of the roses sold were yellow. So I want 25% of my circle to be yellow. So what I'm going to do is 25%, which is 0.25 of, which means times, 360. So 0.25 times 360 gives me 90 degrees. So I know that that first category needs to be a 90 degree angle. So for red, I know that 50% of the circle needs to be red. So I'm going to do 0.5 and then that's 50% of is times and then the circle is 360. So 0.5 times 360 gives me 180 degrees for that angle. And then finally the last category again was 25% so I'm going to do 0.25 times 360 which I already know from above is going to be 90 degrees. Now, if I do all of this correctly, then all of my degrees should add up to 360 degrees. So 90 plus 180 plus 90 should give me 360 degrees total, which it does. So it seems like all of my work is checking out. So at this point, the next thing that we would do then is draw in the degrees. So we would put our circle in the center, our point in the center of the circle draw a line over here, line up our protractor, and start drawing the angles. I will um, hopefully show you that in another lesson. I can't show a protractor on this program. So right now we're just practicing how to find the central angles. Let's look at another. All right, so again, the first one of the first things we need to do is find the percent for each category. And to do that, we need to find the total number that's involved. So we're going to go ahead and add these numbers. 15 plus 14 plus 6 plus 5 plus 10. And when I add those up, I get a total of 50. So now to find the percent for each category, I'm going to do 15 divided by my total, which is 50. And I get 0.3, which is going to be 30%. So for the next category, I'm going to do 14 divided by 50. And I get 0.28, which is 28%. Now I'm going to do 6 divided by 50. And I get 0.12, which is 12%. Now I have 5 divided by 50, which is 0.1, or 10%. And then we have 10 divided by 50, which is 0.2, or 
So there we have our percentages. So the next thing we have to do then is calculate the central angle for each category. And as we talked about in the last lesson, to find the central angle, you need to do the percentage of 360 degrees, because in a circle, there's a total of 360 degrees. So for the first category of dogs, we're going to do 30%, which is 0 0.3 times 360 degrees. So 0 0.3 times 360 gives me 108 degrees. For the next category, I'm going to have to do 28% or 0 0.28 times 360. And I get 100.8 degrees. For the next one, I'm going to do 12% or 0 0.12 times 360. And I get 43.2 degrees. For the next one, I have 10% or 0.1 times 360, which is 36 degrees. And the last one is 20% or 0.2 times 360, which is 72 degrees. As we talked about in the last example, to double check our work, we can add up all these degrees and make sure they add up to 180. So I'm doing that right now. Or excuse me, they shouldn't add up to 180. They should add up to 360, which in my case they did. So that checks out. So the next thing I would do then is put a, a dot in the center of my circle, draw my first um, my uh, radius out to the side there, and then I would line up the protractor and start drawing the angles. Example. So again, the first step that we want to do is find the percent for each category. And the way we're going to do that is by starting, starting to find the total. So we're going to add up the numbers 82 plus 86 plus 22 plus 10. And when I add those, my total is 200. So to find the percent for each category, I'm going to divide the number by my total, which is 200. So 82 divided by 200 gives me 0 0.41, which is 41%. For the next one, I have 86 divided by 200, which is 0.43, or 43%. For the next category, we have 22 divided by 200, which is 0.11, or 11%. In the last one, we have 10 divided by 200, which is 0 0.05, or 5%. All right, so now we have our percents for each category. So the next step, then, is to find the central angle for each category. And to find the central angle, what you do is you take your percentage of 360 degrees because a full circle is 360 degrees. So in the first example, the adventure category, we're going to have to do 0 0.41 times 360. So 0 0.41 times 360 gives me 147.6 degrees. For the next category, it's going to be 0 0.43 times 360, which gives me 154.8 degrees. For the next category, it's going to be 0 0.11 times 360, which is 39.6 degrees. And the last category is going to be 0 0.05 times 360, which is 18 degrees. So to double check our work, we're going to make sure that our degrees add up to 360. So I'm going to add these up. And when I add them up, sure enough, I got 360 degrees. So it seems like all my work is checking out. So the last step then is to put the dot in the center of the circle, draw your radius, and then you would line up your protractor and start drawing the, the angles. So there are some examples 
of how to find the percent and central angle when trying to make a circle graph.